And it's Thursday night. All this stuff just came in. Well, the docking station, the GT1030 did. Um, and I really want to unbox this thing and run some initial tests. This docking station, it's the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T503 Advanced Docking Station. I got lucky and found one on PC liquidation. If you try to find one of these on eBay, they're like 150 to like $230. It's absolutely ridiculous what they're doing with these on eBay. But what this allows you to do is use a desktop graphics card with a ThinkPad. Now I know this is a concept that uh, really exists today and, and you see it a lot, you know, especially with Thunderbolt 3. Um, but keep in mind, this is a docking station from like 10 years ago. This technology existed 10 years ago and it's really just starting to make a comeback now. They sent the wrong version of the docking station. All I got to say is that this key better work. So I got the docking station, the key just came in, I paid 19 bucks for the key plus uh, $16 for overnight shipping because I needed it today. Today is, or tonight, is the only time I have available to make this quick uh, first look video. All right, so let's see if this set of keys is the one. And <laughs> I ordered the keys and these keys are so old that the guy sent me an email and he's like, are you sure you ordered the right key? No one has ordered these in like years. I'm like, yep, that's the key I need. Oh my God, it worked. But alas, I should have known something was bound to go wrong. That was way too easy. So the dock is unlocked now. But as you can see, the connection between the eject button and the latch mechanism right here is severed. So when you push down the button, absolutely nothing happens. I have a, a another Lenovo dock right here. So with this dock, when you push the button down, it engages the latch mechanism to eject the laptop. With this one, it does not. So I can't actually put the T400 on the dock right now because these two latches are locked in place and they need to be unlocked in order to put the uh, T400 down on this dock. Now, what I could do as a last resort is break these little plastic arms off, um, but I really don't want to do that because that's going to pretty much ruin this dock. So it's time to go to Home Depot and buy some screw bits because I do not have um, any bits for these weird hex security screws. So I got all of the screws out except for one. I just got back from Home Depot like five minutes ago, bought the uh, bit set. Of course, you can't just buy the bit set. You have to buy the uh, uh, screwdriver too. So the entire purchase was like 20 bucks. I don't even need that. Um, but I'm stuck now because someone on the design team, that would be a great idea to stick a screw all the way down there and nothing will reach down there. So it's time to get the drill and make this hole bigger. Um, yeah, because I'm out of options right now. This is one of those things that should really have a service manual. Unfortunately, I can't find the service manual for the 2503 Advanced Docking Station. What I did find was a forum post that helped me a lot. So apparently, there are screws hidden under these little plastic uh, indentations right here. So I'm guessing there's a screw here, screw here, and screw here. Okay, so I still can't get the thing open. There's probably some hidden screw somewhere, and I say probably because I'm not going to get it open now. Because all of a sudden, these little latches here came loose. So, the jack button still doesn't work. Not an issue, or at least I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, so I can put the laptop on here. I'm not going to be able to eject it using the eject button though. What I'm going to have to do is tie pieces of, of uh, floss around these two little latches uh, so I can actually remove the laptop when I need to take it off the dock. Well, you look at that. The dock is working. Now there is no GPU in the GPU enclosure section of the dock right now. I have a GT1030 on standby. Um, it's just using the uh, uh, T400's integrated graphics. So what we're gonna do now is turn this off, toss the 1030 in, install the drivers on the uh, T400 and see if we can get the T400, and I might even break the T60 out here 
um, right now because the T60 has a little bit more RAM and a better CPU than this machine does. Uh, and we're going to see if we can get the uh, 1030 to work with the docking station. It is 11 o'clock, about four hours later. And after much, 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 much troubleshooting, and I'll talk about what I did to get this all working um, towards the end of this video. And of course, I'll take you inside this and show you where the uh, GPU is as well. Um, but right now, I want to show you guys this. So I have Left 4 Dead running on the ThinkPad T60. We have a, a T7600 in here with 3 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, uh, along with the GT1030, which is right under here, running... Left 4 Dead 2 at almost, almost max settings. I had to turn a, a couple things down because it was a little bit jumpy, but after I turned those things down, it is crazy what this can do. And I'm going to let the, the gameplay speak for itself right now. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Now let's just take a quick look at the advanced stock itself. Of course, when I publish the full video, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with this. This is just going to be a quick overview. So obviously, really had to manhandle this thing to get the laptop uh, to even dock with this docking station. Uh, so it's in pretty rough shape right now, but it does work. Um, what I had to do was instead of taking that uh, floss approach, as I mentioned earlier, I just forced both of these retaining clips in the uh, back position permanently so I can freely put the laptop on and freely remove it. So our video card is on the bottom in the video card compartment right here. That's uh, this little plastic panel. So if I lift this up, you will see our GT1030. So you guys are looking at the back of the 1030 right here. And as you can see, with that heat sink, this is a single slot card and it just barely fits. There's just a little bit of clearance in between the plastic right here and the heatsink on the GT1030. So let's pop this bad boy out because there's something else I want to show you guys. As you guys might remember, I said earlier that yes, this does have a PCI X16 slot but you're actually only getting PCI X1 or PCIe X1 bandwidth. Um, and you can actually see that this PCIe X16 slot is just a riser card. There's a PCIe X1 slot right here. So that's just breaking out into a uh, PCIe X16 slot. So you can put your uh, PCIe uh, X16 graphics card in here. And then also there's a tiny little fan right here. This thing is deafening. It sounds like there's a jet engine inside this docking station. 
So you can see all of our I.O., which I haven't really been worried about for this video. I've just been worried about the uh, 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 eGPU capabilities of this docking station. But you can see we have uh, video out, VGA, um, DVI, bunch of USB ports, parallel serial, uh, PS2 for keyboard and mouth, uh, Ethernet. And then this is where uh, the outputs for your video card would be. I'm not sure if you guys saw that earlier. I'll throw the video card back up here so you guys can actually see what that looks like. So your video card would just slide in like so. And then the outputs would be easily accessible uh, via the back of the docking station. That is going to be about it for this video, guys. It's past midnight here. I'm tired. I've spent a lot of time trying to get this docking station up and running. So once again, this is just an initial look at the advanced dock. Um, the full video is going to have a lot more. We're going to run a lot of games. I'm talking Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4. Uh, I want to try to run Doom on this. Um, I'm also going to break out a couple uh, but a couple of our benchmarks, I have 3D Mark uh, lined up for this, along with Pass Mark. So a lot more testing is going to go into that video. Uh, and I'm also going to answer any questions you guys might have about the advanced docking station. Um, so go ahead and throw those questions down in the comment section. I might be able to answer one of those questions in the full video of the advanced dock. Now, also, there's one more thing I want to mention. Um, there was a software issue I ran into with Windows, so I was getting... Uh, Error 43, that's what it was. Error 43, this device was deactivated when it came to the GT1030. Um, and there's a script already out on the web uh, that will fix all of this for you. I'll put all the information for that down in the description just in case anyone else is trying to get up and running with the advanced dock and is having the same problem. Uh, because it took me a good two hours to find that solution. I was just messing around. I thought the car just wasn't getting enough power, so I hooked up an external power supply. Um, I reinstalled the graphics drivers multiple times, and that didn't do anything. So finally, I found the fix online um, and got the card up and running. So that really made my night at that point. Uh, the next video, in the next video, we are going to be testing using this T400 and that's also why I'm not doing a, a full like full look video right now is because I need to get the RAM for this machine so I need 8 gigabytes of DDR3 for this machine um, and a new processor as well I'm probably going to go with the T9600 uh, Core 2 Duo um, for this T400 so I want to I really want to spec this machine out um, to give this docking station and the GT1030 in it a fighting chance so uh, we're going to spec this machine out. We're going to wait till next month when I have the budget to buy the parts for this. Uh, and then we're going to make the full video. So really excited about that. And that will be coming up in uh, probably three to four weeks, I would say, at the latest. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. I got to clean up here. It is just a wreck. I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.